Hi everyone and welcome to Dumbbell Strength. My name is Amber Lankford. I'm be running you through your workout today. For today's workout setup, we are going to be doing some supersets. So we're going to start with alternating a lower body and upper body exercise. Before we get into that though, let's go ahead and if we're going to track our workouts, press start on our fitness watches and let's get our warm up on. We're going to start first. I want you to do wide stance. Feet are going to be a little bit wider than your shoulder width and feet pointing forward. We're just going to do some reaches up to the ceiling and then coming back down to your side. We're going to do four reaches all the way up and back down. Last one, reaching up as tall as you can and down. Good. Let's. Transition to some marches. Get those arms pumping with those legs coming up towards our chest. Getting that full body warmed up. Let's do one more each side. And then we're going to put our hands on our hips and we're going to do some wide marches today. So we're bringing those knees out instead of in front. One more each side. Now let's go to butt kickers. Bringing those heels up towards your glutes. Keeping those hips nice and flat. Getting those hamstrings working and getting a little bit of a stretch in those quad and hip flexors. Last one, each side. Next, sumo stance. Legs wider than your shoulders. Feet are going to be turned out this time. We are going to have our arms out to the side in a P. And we're going to go down into a little bit of a sumo stance, knees bent. And we're just going to rotate, reach down for that foot and up. We're reaching opposite hand towards that opposite foot. Getting some rotation through that spine. Let's do one more in each direction and come on out of that. All right, you guys ready to get started? We're going to begin with our lower body exercise first. So I will demonstrate give you guys some cues and any sort of modifications if needed, and then we'll get started. So our exercise number one, I'm gonna be using one dumbbell. It's gonna be more in that medium to heavy range. We are going to be doing a squat with a suitcase carry hold. So we're gonna be holding that weight in one hand. I want your legs to be about shoulder width to hip width apart. Feet forward, other hand is going to be off the side as well. And we're going to sink down into a squat and coming back upright. Now this weight is going to want to pull you over to the side. You're going to have to stabilize your core in order to keep that back flat and your shoulders and hips even. Regular squat. If you need to, if that's too much, feel free to grab a second dumbbell and hold the other one off the side as well. Only going as low as you can in that comfortable range. We are going to be doing eight reps, holding it in one hand, and then we're going to switch hands and do eight reps, holding it in the other hand. Starting in three, two, one, back is flat, knees tracking with our feet, going down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Eight, switching hands in three, two, one, same thing. We're just pulling that weight with the other hand, making sure we're not laying that weight, pull us down. Shoulders and hips are staying nice and square. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good work. Set that weight down. We're going to transition to some upper body. We're going to be working on our biceps 
and give that lower body a little bit of a rest. So I'm gonna switch and go to more of a light to medium weight. I have eight pounds in my hand. And what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be doing some hammer curls, but we're going to do and break this into sections. So we're gonna do six repetitions for each phase. We're gonna start with that lower phase first with our hands down by our sides. We're gonna bend up to 90 degrees and then go back down. So we're gonna do six lower curl, only going to that 90 degree range. After we've done six, we're gonna start at that 90 degree angle and go up all the way to the top to your shoulders and back to that 90 for six. Once we've done six there, we're gonna do a full hammer curl and curl all the way up to our shoulders and then all the way back down, elbows straight. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna start in three, two, one, lower curl to 90 and down one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're starting from that 90, going up to shoulder one, two, three, four, five, and six, going all the way down, full curl. Let's go up one, two, three, four, five, and six, woo! All right, set those weights down. I don't know about you guys, but my biceps are already burning. We're gonna take a little mini break, and then we're gonna start back up from the top with our suitcase hold squat. So now's the time, if you need some water, go ahead and grab a drink. We're gonna start up in about 10 seconds. So grab that weight. And let's get in position in five, four, three, two, one. Side one, sinking down to your squat. And up one, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Switch in sides, holding that way on the other side. In three, two, one, let's work. Keeping those shoulders nice and square. Core stabilized. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good work. Go ahead and set that weight down. Shake those hands out. Go into our bicep curls. We're gonna set those up in about 10 seconds. Enjoy your little breather. And switch weights if you need to. Starting with those lower curls. In three, two, one. Let's work up one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now top up, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Coming all the way down, full curl. Up one, two, three, four, five. Last one, and six. Set those weights down. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch if you need to. little breather that was round two we have one last round to go for this super set and then we will move on to the next one grab water if you need it stretch out those forearms if you need it we've been holding a lot of weight sometimes that can be a little bit tricky with our forearm strength depending on how heavy we're holding all right, grab your weight, back to our squat. In three, 
two, one last round. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. And eight. Switch inside. In three, two, one. Sinking down. Up one. Two. Three. Four. Halfway. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Good work. Set that weight down. Switch into our bicep curls. We're going to start that up in about 10 seconds. You can grab those weights and get ready if you'd like. Starting up in five, four, three, two, one. Lower curl first. Two, three, four, five, and six. Hold going all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Full curl. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Woo! Good work. Set those weights down. Take those arms out. Grab some water if you need it. That was Round three, we have a new superset coming up. So I'm gonna demonstrate that first exercise in just a second. All right, so for our next exercise, we're gonna be doing another squat variation. For this squat variation, similar kind of setup. We're gonna be holding one weight in one arm, but this time, we're going to be doing an overhead hold. So this can be a little bit tricky depending on if you have any shoulder issues. So I will show you a modification. What we're going to be doing is we're going to have our legs in a little bit of a wider stance this time. So about shoulder width or a little bit farther apart. Feet are still going to be forward. We're going to take one weight. I'm going a little bit lighter this time. I'm sticking with more of that five to eight pound range just because with that overhead hold, it's a little bit harder to stabilize. So I prefer going lighter, just so I can work on that and keep my core and everything else nice and engaged. So we're gonna hold one hand up straight in the air, holding that weight overhead. We're gonna sink down into a squat and then coming right back up. I like to kind of counterbalance and have one hand in front, but you can also have your hand on your hips or just at your side as well. We're still focused on keeping that back as flat as we can. Try and keep our weight pointed up to the ceiling. We're gonna do eight reps on one side and then switch, holding eight reps to the other side. Now, if that hold is really challenging or painful, feel free just to kind of hold up here to where our elbow is about shoulder height. That weight is not resting on our shoulder. So we have to work that shoulder just a little bit, but we're not in as uncomfortable of a position as that overhead stance might be. Those are kind of your options for that hold. Eight reps, side one, starting in three, two, one. Let's work, sinking down and up one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Good work. Switch inside in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good work. Set those weights down on the ground this next one we are going to go lighter again we're focusing on those shoulders and we're going to do what's called a w row 
So for this row, I'm going to be using three pound weights. We're going to be bent at the waist. Back is nice and flat. We are going to start so our hands, our palms are facing each other. We're going to row out wide. So elbows are wide. Away from those rib cages. We're going to keep our elbows there. And we're going to lift our wrists up and back down and lower. So we row first, shoulder blades squeeze, and then we're going to externally rotate up, lifting those wrists and down. Your elbows do not move. If that is painful, free, feel free just to do the row and come down. You can hold while I lift up and add that external rotation. This is for people if you do have any like rotator cuff injuries that might be just a little bit too challenging to add that rotation. We're going to do 12 reps in three, two, one, row up and lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, and twelve. Good work. Come on out of that. Give those arms a little bit of a breather, shake them out, grab some water if you need it. That was round one. We're going to do two more rounds of those two exercises. We're working a lot on those shoulder stabilizers today. So you might be sore tomorrow in places that you're not used to. We are targeting some muscles that we don't always work super often, but they're good to target every once in a while. All right, starting up, round two, overhead squat. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, sinking down. And up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switching arms in three, two, one. There we go. That's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Good work. Set that weight down. Take those arms out. Let's get ready for those W rows. We're going to in about 10 seconds. Grab those weights. Starting in three, two, one. Rowing up. Add that lift. One, two, back is staying nice and flat. Shoulder blades are squeezing at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, and 12. Good job, set those weights down. Round two is done. One last round of those two exercises, and then we'll move on. Whew. We're gonna start up in about 15 seconds, so enjoy your breather. Feel free to kind of keep moving, doing some side to side steps. If you want to keep that body warm and ready to go. Grab your weight. Let's get ready. Last round. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's work. Sinking down, up one, two, Three, four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. Other arm up in three, two, one. That's two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Awesome, set those weights down. Whew. All right, last exercise, W row. We're gonna start with about 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's work. Row and lift one, two, three, four, five, six, halfway, seven, eight. Nine, almost there. Ten. Eleven, last one. And twelve. Woo! All right. Set those weights down. That was round three, so we're going to move on to our third superset of the day. For this one, we are going to be in a kneeling position. I kind of want to let you guys know ahead of time, we are going to be in a kneeling position. I will show you an alternative exercise to do if kneeling is just really uncomfortable for you. If you would like, now is the time to grab either a towel, blanket, or pillow. Roll up that towel or blanket and set it on the ground to get something comfortable and soft to kneel on. And let's get to work. Four. Our first exercise, we're going to be on our knees. You can have your toes tucked under or flat, whatever is most comfortable. Holding a medium weight and a goblet hold up at your chest. We're going to start up nice and tall. So I want your hips pressed forward. So if someone's looking at you from the side, like you either viewing me, you can be in a straight line from your head all the way to your knees. From here, we're going to go nice and control, leaning back, and then coming back forward. We're staying in control, we're feeling a nice stretch in those quads, and then contracting and coming right back up. So you should feel this exercise in your quads. We're also using our core to stabilize and our glutes to stabilize in order to keep that nice straight line. If kneeling is more painful, Go ahead and goblet hold, and you're gonna hold that squat mini squat position. Every time we lean back, you're gonna add a pulse, and then come back up. So you're gonna pulse and hold, pulse and hold. Going on my count, we're gonna be doing 12 reps. So either move down to the floor, or get into your squat position. Starting in three, two, one, straight line, leaning back. And up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're over halfway, eight, Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. And twelve. Woo! Set that weight down. And come on up to a stand. I'm gonna get a quick drink of water. Alright. We're gonna be doing an L raise today for our Next exercise, I'm going with some five pounders. I'd recommend anywhere from one, 
probably no more than eight pounds. Today I'm sticking with that five pound range. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna be doing an L raise. So we're going to have one hand is gonna lift up in a front raise. At the same time, the other hand is gonna lift up into a side raise. So you're making an L with your arms and then you're gonna switch. Other arm goes front, other one goes to the side. So we're alternating side to side, lifting our arms up to shoulder height. Elbows are staying nice and straight. We're gonna do 10 to each side in three, two, one. Let's work side one up. Side two, that's one. Alternating each time, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, I'm already feeling the burn, eight, almost there, nine, keep pushing, last one, each side, and ten, woo, good work. <laughs> Remember, if that is more challenging, you can always just reach, go down or go up in weight to meet that optimal intensity for your workout. Quick breather, grab some water if you need it. Otherwise, we're going back down to our knees with our reverse Nordic curls. We're gonna start up in about 10 seconds. So take your time getting down to the ground or getting into your squat position. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Holding that straight line, leaning back, and up one. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, and twelve. Whew. Set that weight down. Come on up. Take those arms out. Let's get ready for our lift. We're gonna start in about 10 seconds. So take your time getting on up to your standing position. Grabbing your waist. L raises, starting in three, two, one. Let's work, side one up. And switch one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, last one, and ten. Woo! All right, shake those arms out. That was round two. We have one last round to go. And then we're gonna move on to our next super set. Okay, we're gonna start up in about 15 seconds. So make your way into your position. All right, starting in five, four, three, two, one, leaning back, and up one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
Nine, almost there. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Woo! Good job. Come on up to your stand. We have one last exercise. So we have about ten seconds. We're going to go into our L raises. Get ready. And let's grab our weight. And five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Lift and switch. One, two, three, four, five. Halfway. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Woo! Awesome work. Shake those arms out. Grab some water. For our next superset, we're going to be focusing on some core exercises. We will be on the ground. We will be in a seated and a laying down position on our back. So once you grab some water, feel free to move back down to the ground. We're going to begin in a seated position. All right. We're going to start first with some Russian twists. So for our Russian twists, couple variations of how we can do this. If you are more advanced, you can hold on to a weight, start up nice and tall, leaning back, and floating those feet up in the air. You're gonna twist side to side, keeping those feet up in the air the whole time. If that's a little bit too challenging, you can have your weight, but keep your feet flat on the ground, leaning back, and then twisting side to side from there. You can also do this without any weight and your feet on the ground and then trying to tap those hands to each side. We're going to do 12 in each direction, counting one, one. So grab your weights if you're using them. Starting in three, two, one, leaning back, lifting those feet if you can, and twist. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, halfway, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there, eleven, and well, woo! Awesome work. Set that weight down. We're going to switch to our next exercise. We're going to do a little bit of a crossover sit up. So, we're kind of combining a punch and a sit up. I'll show you a few variations. So, most advanced variation, you're going to start with your weight right above your chest. Keeping it a little bit lighter, you're going to sit up and cross and add that punch. Coming back down, coming up and punch other side. So we're kind of coming up and adding that twist to our sit up. Now, if you'd like, you can do this without any weight. Coming up and twisting, down and switching sides. You can also, without any weight, Hands side the ceiling. You can do a crunch, come up, reaching both hands over to one leg, and switch. So you can do this with a weight in your hand as well. In this way, we're not coming all the way up. We're still getting some core activation and some twisting. I'm going to do with weights, coming all the way up and adding those punches. We're going to do eight to each side. Starting in three, two, one. Let's work up and punch one. One. Two. 
three. Four. Five. Keep breathing. Six. Seven. Last one. And eight. Slowly come back down. And that is round one. Second exercise complete. We still have two more rounds. So let's take a little bit of a breather in between. Let our core kind of rest and reset. We're starting up with those Russian twists. We're going to begin in about 10 seconds. So get ready. Get into position. Grab those weights if you're using weights. Starting in three, two, one. Leaning back, lifting those feet if you can. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, halfway, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, each side, keep working, and done, Woo. all right, enjoy your breather, add a little bit of final twist, stretching those obliques out, we're going to our sit up to cross over, or our crunches side to side, eight each side, we're going to start up in about 10 seconds, so get ready. Grab your weight, in three, two, one, let's work up and twist, one, two, three, Four, halfway, five, six, seven, one more, each direction, and done, Woo. awesome work, that was round two, we have one last round to go. And then we'll end with a good stretch. So take your time, grab your water, stretch that core out a little bit. All right, we're almost there. We're gonna start up in about 10 seconds. So get your bodies ready, get your mind ready. We're starting in five, four, three, two, one, lean it back, feet up if you can, and twist one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost there, ten, eleven, and 12. Woo. Done with those Russian twists. One last exercise to go. We're going to start up in about 10 15 seconds. So take your time, get ready, and then get into position. Grab those weights. All right, we're going to start in five. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Up and punch. That's one. Two. Three. Keep breathing. Four. Five. 
Over halfway. Six. Seven. Last one. And eight. Woo! Alright. Great work. Let's end with a good stretch today. We did a lot. So I want you to start on sitting position. I want you to walk your hands back behind your body. Fingers are pointed away from your body. Walking those hands out. Opening up that chest. Getting a nice shoulder stretch. We did a lot of work with our shoulders today. So I want to make sure we get a nice stretch in and start that recovery process. And walk those hands back up. We're going to flip over to our hands and knees. We're going to get a little bit of a back and core stretch here. We're going to go into our cat cows. Rounding, tucking that chin, tucking that tailbone. And then lowering that chest, lifting your head and tailbone up. Doing that nice stretch in our abdominals. And then switch back to round. And extend up. We're going to do four here. Last one. And bring it back to that neutral back position. We're gonna walk our hands out, sinking our chest down to the ground. Opening up those shoulders, lengthening our spine. Let's stack our right hand right on top of our left. Things back down, lowering that chest. And switch sides, stacking that left hand on top of your right. And then lowering your chest back down. Coming out of that, walking those hands back up under your shoulders. We're going to do a few gentle rocks side to side, resetting. From here, I want you to tuck those toes under, lift those hips up, straightening your legs, going into our down dog position, trying to get your heels. To the ground, flattening that back, opening up those shoulders. Go ahead and bend your right knee, lifting that heel up. And switch, straightening your right leg, bending that left. And straighten both legs, walk those feet in, and slowly roll on up to a stand. Once you're in your standing position, give me three big shoulder rolls going back, and then rounding forward, lifting those shoulders up to your ears, and then pulling them down and away. Last one. Good job. Shake it out. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, hope to see you next time. Happy Tuesday. <laughs>
and have a great rest of your day.